Hello and welcome to Vietnam Today. I'm Hai Yen and now let's check out headlines for this hour. Vietnam's community learning model honored by U.S. Congress Library. And 4 million Vietnamese to join middle class in 2024. Tourists flock to Mu Gang Chai for a recent rice season. Now, Vietnam's community learning model, Compassion Books and House of Wisdom, has been named among successful practices honorees of the 2023 Literacy Awards launched by the Library of the U.S. Congress. An awarding ceremony was held recently at the headquarters of the Library of the U.S. Congress in Washington, D.C. The Literacy Awards program, sponsored by David M. Rubenstein since 2013, honors organizations that provide exemplary, innovative, and replicable strategies to combat illiteracy. It has so far honored 180 organizations from 39 countries around the world. This year's awards were given to 18 organizations from seven countries. According to the LOC, Compassion Books is now a network of nearly 20,000 bookcases or libraries in more than 3,000 schools and residential communities, providing quality reading opportunities for over 2 million readers in 60 out of 63 provinces of Vietnam and a number of schools in Laos. Now, Saudi Arabia is considering the issuance of e-visas to visitors from Vietnam as well as the possibility of bilateral visa exemptions as both countries seek to boost tourism. Within the framework of Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin's visit to Saudi Arabia, Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism Nguyen Van Hong held a bilateral meeting with Princess Haifa bint Mohammed Al Saud, who also serves as Deputy Minister of Tourism of Saudi Arabia on Thursday. The princess said the Saudi Arabian government plans to issue electronic visas for tourists from Vietnam. The Saudi Ministry of Tourism will work with domestic travel and tourism companies to develop tourism product packages that suit the taste of Vietnamese tourists. The princess hopes to soon establish a direct ground between the two countries. Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin agreed to consider starting direct flights between Vietnam and Saudi Arabia to boost tourism and economic ties. Four million Vietnamese to join middle class in 2024. An e-commerce increases by an average of 20% per year. Now, in 2024, Vietnam will have four million more people joining the middle class, and by 2030, there will be an additional 23.2 million people, according to World Data Lab. One Data Lab, a reputable global data analysis organization headquartered in Vienna, Austria, defines the middle class as people who spend at least 12 US dollars per day, according to purchasing power parity. In the list of nine Asian countries focused to have the largest number of people joining the middle class by 2024, Vietnam ranks fifth with 4 million people. Leading is India, 33 million, followed by China, 31 million. Indonesia 5 million and Bangladesh 5 million. One day the lab forecast that 113 million people will join the global middle class in 2024, the majority in Asia. More than 1 billion people in this continent will join the middle class by 2030, of which Vietnam will have an additional 23.2 million people. Now, the Department of E-Commerce and Digital Economy said that currently Southeast Asia has the fastest e-commerce e growth rate in the world. In particular, Vietnam is one of the three leading e-commerce countries in Southeast Asia. Vietnam's e-commerce industry is highly appreciated in both market size and growth rate. Accordingly, the growth rate in Vietnam has remained at 20% for the past seven or eight years, including during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is predicted that in 2023, the growth rate will still reach 20% with a revenue scale of about 10 billion US dollars. 
Fruit and vegetable exports have hit a new record and forecast to bring home over 5.5 billion US dollars in 2023. Vietnam posted 4.2 billion US dollars in fruit and vegetable exports during the first nine months, surging nearly 72% year on year and breaking the record of 3.81 billion in 2018, according to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The biggest importers of Vietnam fruits and vegetables are China, the US, South Korea, Japan, and the Netherlands. Among them, all the shipments to the US dropped slightly but rose sharply in the others. Nam Mu Kang Chai district in the northern mountainous province of Yên Bái is renowned for its bright, shiny terrace rice fields that stretch as far as the eye can see, along with the rich culture of local ethnic groups. A large number of tourists flock to the district at this time of the year to admire the ripen paddy fields. One of the most popular destinations within Mu Kang Chai district is Ping Ho Village, located in Zhe Su Phing Common. Here, visitors are treated to breathtaking natural scenery with majestic mountains serving as a backdrop. The terraced rice fields with their layered formations offer a spectacle of ever-changing colors that resemble a mesmerizing watercolor painting. As September comes, the rice on the terrace fields begins to turn to a vibrant shade of yellow, signaling the start of the ripened rice season. This transformation acts as a magnet for tourists coming to Mu Kang Chai to witness and capture the beauty of this majestic natural landscape nestled amid the northwestern mountains and forests. Mu Kang Chai won global recognition when it was included on a list of the 50 most beautiful places in the world in 2020 by Big 7 Travel. Its popularity continues to soar, with nearly 250,000 tourists visiting in the first nine months of this year alone. The local tourism sector has flourished, generating more than 10 million US dollars in revenue. And that's the end of today's bulletin. Thanks for your watching and goodbye for now.